Hi you guys, it's Destiny. I'm back with another review. Um, I've already got my face all done up. It's going to be an eyeshadow palette review, so I'm super excited to get into it. Um, this is the newest BH Cosmetics palette. It is the Lunar New Year. And look at her. She is gorgeous. I'm excited. We will be touching and playing with this together. Um, I've already got my face done. As you can tell, i got my blush, my contour. Um, so it looks a little silly without the eyeshadow, but it's going to bring it together. I'm not sure what to expect from this palette, but the last few BH Cosmetics palettes have been very, very impressive for me. Um, the Naughty and Nas palette, the Nas palette was okay. The Naughty palette, phenomenal. I paid the full price, $29, and I don't regret it. Um, it's on sale right now for 11 something I believe, on their website. So if you got it, I would definitely pick it up. It is amazing. I used it all through December. It was my go-to palette. Um, so I had to try this one. And this one is the Lunar New Year, Year of the Ox. I was born in Year of the Ox. So I'm super excited to try it out. I had to have it. It was my very first um, buy of the year for this palette. And I'm trying to go on a very slim to no buy. So this is probably one of the only few palettes I pick up this year. I apologize if you hear my son. He <laughs> is not in the best mood right now. Um, and whenever I film, he just always wants to make himself known. Uh, anyway, we're going to be getting into this. But before we do, um, I'm also going to mention that we will be trying out another product, which is the Airspun Loose Highlighter. I saw this going all around TikTok and I had to order it offline for myself and get it because it was at no Walmart near me. Um, we will be putting it on last. That's the only thing I've not done for my face. So let's get into it. Um, I've already got my eyes primed and everything. Um, and let's, let's go. I've got my brushes over here. So if you see me looking off camera, it's just for this. I'm not quite sure what I want to start with. I think we're going to go with... Ooh. I don't know if I want to do a red look or what. Let's go with this red panda right here. I had to grab my mirror. Let's go into it. Let's see. Moment of truth, you guys. Oh, wow. Look at that. Sorry, you guys. I had to stop real fast. My son started getting into everything because, you know, terrible two toddlers just love to bother you whenever <laughs> you're doing something. He's been good all day, but now all of a sudden he wants to just get into everything. I'm still going in with that shade, and I'm just going to go around, kind of circle my eye shape a little bit with it. It's a really pretty shade. I'm just dipping back in for the other eye. I uh, don't see really any, like, little to no fallout, you guys. Yeah, little to no fallout, and honestly, this pigment is beautiful. But I'm a big, like, red pigment person. I love, like, shades of reds, maroons, burgundy, um, anything like that. Like, this palette was a must-have for me, and it even had some glitters I didn't have. Um, which is a big thing with palettes. If I decide to buy a palette, I have to make sure that I do not own a few of the shades or glitters or something. Because um, I'm coming up on owning over 80, probably close to 100 palettes right now. Um, I might do a video later of my collection. You guys tell me what you think if you'd want to see it. I have a variety of brands. Um, some indie, some big name. Uh, but I might do a video showcasing that. Um, I don't know when, but might get around to it. But I had to jump on and make a video for this palette. I have seen a few reviews on it, but I wanted to personally try a review and see if it really is worth it. Now, it is $21 for 21 shades, which I think is a great price point. And with BH, their stuff always goes on sale pretty fast, so... There's that. If you don't want to pick it up now, I'm sure it'll be on sale soon. Um, we're going to go in with this lantern shade right here. Sorry, that's my son's toy. It just goes off randomly. 
I'm gonna just go over top with that lantern shade and kind of like blend it in. Um, that's what we're gonna be doing right here. I've seen so many launches. The first launch I saw for Year of the Ox or um, New Year Vibes was, or Lunar New Year Vibes was the ColourPop one. But it was very like nude tones. And um, as much as I love a good new sh nude shade, I wasn't like super stunned by either of the palettes. The Ox one was pretty. I don't remember what the other one was called. Um, but it's a little set. I was not stunned by them. They were okay. But when I saw that BH had come out with one, and I've just been really living for BH. They're affordable. Um, their shipping's pretty good. At least it has been for me. And I think the quality is like pretty good. Some of the palettes are not that great. But these new palettes that they've been coming out with have been like um, home runs for me. I've absolutely loved them. I've enjoyed them. I've been using them constantly. Um, like I said, all through December. That was... I did a... I tried to do a good few Christmas looks um, from Instagram and stuff. My Instagram. And I just completely used the palette all month. I definitely feel like I've gotten my money's worth. And I still will be using that palette. It is absolutely beautiful. This one I feel like I'm going to get a lot more use out of though. I'm just going back over and blending. Um, I think I'm about where I want to be with the blending. So I'm going to go back and take this. Let's see, let's do a little more. I think I'm gonna go back with a little more of Rampanda and just kind of like deepen right here. Just right there. I don't wanna to do too much for this look. I want kind of, not simple, but like a quick and easy look that anybody can do with a few shades. Alright, now that I'm done with that, I'm going to take another brush. And I'm probably going to just use... Sorry, you guys, I know I'm off camera. Um, I think I'm going to just use this little brush right here. And I'm going to go in with the shade... Oh, let's go in with Yang. This white right here, it's a white shimmer. And I'm going to just take and pop that right under my eyebrow, on my bone right here. That is really pretty. Uh, so far, this, this palette is really good, you guys. Um, the shimmers look to be performing beautifully. There's not really much fallout in the pan. There's not really much fallout on my eyes. Um, it's blending really well. As you can see, I got a little on my eyelids, but it'll be fine because I'm covering it with glitter. Alright, and I think that's enough shimmer for us. We're just going to kind of leave it at that. I think that's good enough. Looks like I done this a little bit higher than this eye, so I might actually go back. Um, I'm going to go back. And take some more of that orange shade and come right here and come up just a little further so it matches and that's all you got to do bam a little right here fixed there we go sorry you guys i know i keep applying this shimmer all right there we go now what glitters do we want to use there's so many I don't know if I want to use an orange glitter, if I want to use a red glitter. I think I'm going to use this gold glitter in my inner corner and then blend it with this one. The gold is called Emperor and the red with the red one. Oh my god, I can't speak you guys. The red one is called Dynasty. I've got no glue on. All I've got is eye primer and just a little swatch on my finger. I've barely touched it. Oh, well. Look at that, you guys. That is insane. I don't have any glitter glue or anything on. NYX makes a really good glitter glue. If you want to put a little on your eyes and then do glitter to make it last a little longer. Um, I'm not particularly wearing this look forever. Um, or that long. Maybe a few hours. So, I'm not worried about my glitter like staying on all day. 
tell me it's not stunning though. Oh wow, that is beautiful. I'm gonna go back with our little brush. I got a little in my crease. So all we gotta do is take, and we're just gonna like blend that out. Now I'm gonna take that red glitter, and I'll show you guys right here. I'm gonna take it and do it right here. And just kind of do a little blend with them because I love blending glitters. I love just shiny eyelids. I don't know why, it just feels so glamorous and um, it just appeals to my eye very much. So far, even the glitters are like blending pretty well. I done went and touched up here. I'll have to go back over that. My anxiety causes jerks sometimes, so when I'm doing this, my finger will just put glitter where glitter is not needed. So I'm going to come back down and blend that out. There we go. Ah, done. Oh, look at that, you guys. That is just, that is really pretty. That is really pretty. I'm going to take our brush again, and I'm going to go in with that red panda shade, that deep rub. And I'm going to kind of just hit the corners. That's all I'm going to do is hit my corners. Just to kind of accentuate my eye shape and give it more of that just deepened vibe. That's all we're doing. And that's all we're going to do. Alright. Now, I'm going to take and apply some eyeliner and eyelashes. And I'll be right back. And before I go, I will show you. This will be the eyeliner I'll be using. It is Rimeo London Exaggerate Eyeliner. So, this is what we're using. I'll be right back. Alright, you guys. I'm back. And I decided to go ahead and throw on some lipstick too. And I used the NYX Liquid Shade. Liquid suede in the shade alien it's this beautiful black um all i did was throw on eyeliner eyelashes and i put a touch of that emperor glitter just right there that's it that's all i've done all right so now we're gonna finish off this look with the highlighter and i'm super excited i ordered both of them there's three shades i did not get the gold one i'm not interested in it I have plenty of gold highlighters and I don't really use them. Um, my skin tone, I think, fares better with a more icy or white toned. Um, and this pink one, I wanted to try it. It is called Pink Me Up and then we have Snow Much Ice. So I'm going to be using Snow Much Ice, but I will be swatching the Pink Me Up. Now, I love loose highlighters. I feel like they last literally forever because there's just so much pigment and shine to just a little bit like I barely dip my brush into the lid which is covered in the little bit of the residue of it and we're gonna apply it I was super excited when I saw it on TikTok um I love airspun I think they're affordable and I love their setting powder so when I saw they were coming out with a loose highlighter my heart soared look at that That did not take much at all. That is blinding. What do y'all think? I think this is beautiful. It was $5 and some change, almost $6 I think, on Walmart Online. Um, but they had a two-pack deal. So I grabbed the two-pack. But when my package got here, I had two of them missing. One of each shade. So only half my package got here. Um, and I had went to the Walmart customer service or customer help on the app. And it sends you to someone to talk to. You can text them through the app. And I did that, and within five minutes, they had it resolved and had a new shipping label made and everything for the highlighters that were missing. They were amazing. It was super easy, like um, best best to deal with right there. Um, and what's funny is when that package came, my Ulta package with the BH came, and it came in two different packages, one with the palette and one with um, the foundation I'm wearing, which is the Ordinary Serum Foundation. It is It is stunning. 
um, in a few of these uh, NYX lipsticks and they went missing. UPS delivered them to their own house. So I had to contact them, do a lost package thing. Luckily it was early enough in the day. The driver came back. Sorry for my son. He's watching cars. He gets really into cars. Um, enough to where he screams at the TV. Uh, anyway, the UPS guy had to go to the house and bring it back to me. So it was a day. Um, anyway, but look at that. Oh, what is stunning. Let's swatch. Let's, is this the one? Yeah, this is Pink Me Up. We're going to swatch Pink Me Up. They come with these like little, the little floofers, puffers thingies. I know, I don't, I don't call them by their correct term, but it comes with these. And I'm going to take a little bit off the little floofer. And I'm going to just put it right here. I don't think that was enough to do anything. Let me try this again, you guys. Alright, there we go. Now y'all can see it running. It's very subtle, but you can definitely see the pink in it. I don't know if you can see the pink reflex. My skin is just so pale. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, and to finish this video, I am going to swatch the colors we did not use of this BH palette. So... And I'm actually going to keep my head bended and everything. Really, all I would do to fix my hair is maybe, like, move it out here. That's a little... There we go. It's like, maybe just move it out here and be done. All right. We're going to go with the first row. So, the first, we have Firecracker, Yellow Mountain, and a Fortune right here. We're going to go in with these three shades. It is an orange glitter, this yellow mountain yellow, and this fortune like orange red. Ooh, those are really pretty. Next, we're going to go in with princess and empress right here. We've already used these two shades on the eyes, so I won't be swatching them. And this is our first shimmer, so let's see. Here's that gold, and here's Empress, and this was Princess, and then Empress. Alright, we've already used Yang, which was right here, so I'm going to go in with Money, Warriors, and Mandarin, which are these three. So far, like, these pigments are impressive. Here's Money, Warriors, and and mandarin look at the pigment look at that neon and that yellow like those pigments are hard for companies to get right and this is an affordable company next we're gonna go in with mooncake and it is right here it is a shimmer we already used these two so we won't have to see them you already saw them on my eyes and bam look at those you guys all right we're on the last row we're gonna do Lotus Flower, Gate of China, and Temple of Heaven. This is also a shimmer. So we're going to start right here. This is Lotus Flower. It's as pale as me. <laughs> Gate of China, and then Temple of Heaven. That is a beautiful gold shimmer. That Lotus Flower is literally about my skin tone. <laughs> All right. Next, we're going to go in with the last four shades, which is Great Wall, Dragon, Jade, and Yin. We didn't have to do Yang because we put that shimmer in our eye, on our um, eyebrow bone. Sorry, you guys. So, here we have Great Wall, Dragon is the glitter, Jade is the green, deep green shimmer, and then Yin, which is this black. I barely touched them, you guys. Look at those swatches. This is a color story like I can live for. It has those pops of color for if you want to be adventurous. These deeper shades for more of like a goth, deep look. And these lighter shades if you want just pops of fun color. And then like a lot of neutral shades. So you can just go in with a regular neutral smoky eye. I feel like it's a very versatile palette. Overall, I think I would rank it pretty high. Um, 
I think it is well worth the money. Uh, I would almost pay $30 for it, to be honest. Um, so 21 feels like it's still a dollar per shade. And like, these are good shades. They are not bad at all. The quality is amazing. Um, like, I would compare this to some of my higher end quality. And these glitters are amazing too. Like, they've stuck really well. It blended beautifully. Like, oh my gosh. If you can pick it up, I would. If you like that, like, get it. Because it, it is definitely worth the money. Um, um I'm super excited. I'm going to be using it all year long. Year of the Ox. We got this. But that's it for my review. Oh, and the Airspine. I am in love with it. I am probably going to be using it constantly. Every time I do makeup, I will be throwing this on. Because it is stunning. Like, I just feel so pretty. Um... Anyway, that's all for this review in this video. I hope I did not drag it out too long. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video.